We saw in the last session how to prepare the solution in the syringe. In this session, we will walk through the steps of setting up and starting infusion using syringe pump for the first time. Connect the power cord. The syringe pump should be placed on a clean, level surface. Before turning the pump on, we need to connect it to electrical sockets using the power cord. First, connect the power cord end to the main socket at the rear of the syringe pump. Then, take the plug and connect it to the electrical mains. Turn on the mains switch. As you can see, the display indicates that power is connected to the pump. Now take the previously prepared syringe which is filled with the drug solution. Before we insert the syringe into the pump, the two locks should be released. The front lock should be turned by a quarter circle to the left side and the side lock should be lifted and the arm pulled out so that we can put the syringe into the pump. After opening both the locks, the pump will look like this. Now keep the piston of the syringe over the side lock and then slowly bring the end to this slot and gently push the syringe inside so that it is perfectly placed and the lock snaps to secure it. If the click isn't heard, the lock hasn't closed fully. After that, lock the syringe into place using the front lock by turning it up. Now the syringe is perfectly placed in the pump. Turn the pump on. To switch on the pump, we press the on button on the keypad. The moment you switch on the pump, it goes through the self-test showing various characters on the display. When the self-test is complete, it shows AAA and minus 54 alternatively. Turn the alarm off by pressing the alarm button. Set the flow rate. F is the function key. Press the F key which now allows you to enter the flow rate using the number keys on the keypad. We had calculated the flow rate to be 5.8 milliliters per hour earlier. We will now enter this into the syringe pump. Now press the start button. The pump is now ready to start the flow of the drug solution at this rate. Now we should connect the feeder tube to the patient via the central or peripheral line. We connect the end of the feeder pipe to the three-way stopcock. This is the three-way stopcock. This pipe is from the patient's side. Now I am going to connect this pipe to the three-way valve. The three-way stopcock should be blocking the entry connector where this line will join. Make sure the feeder tube is full of the solution, then connect it to this connector. Then turn on the three-way valve to allow the flow to begin. Start the pump by pressing the start button now. You can see the wheel starts rotating. This means that the pump has started to push the solution into the connecting pipe. Documentation After starting the infusion, we should document it. This is the chart we follow. This has information in various columns giving details of injection, dilution, time, dosage, rate of flow of infusion, doctor's signature, given by and checked by. We have now successfully started the administration of the drug to the patient using the syringe pump according to the doctor's orders.